Hi guys, this is Jer99 from Team Liquid here. Right now I'm with Igus. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. That's good, that's good. Is this your first time in Canada? Yeah. How do you like it so far? Um, yeah, it's, Toronto seems like a nice enough place. Yeah. Are you planning to go visit the CN Tower? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's $35 to get in, so. I made it, a Canada box. You what, sorry? I'm not made of Canada box. Yeah. I wonder what the conversion rate would be from Australian money to that. But, uh, all right, so I want to talk to you a bit about Legacy of the Avoid. Have you been playing a lot of that? Um, I've been playing a fair bit of it. Not since the last patch, because I've got this to worry about. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I've played, like, I've got a couple hundred games down. Oh, that's actually quite a lot. Have you been toying around with the new Liberator, or was that uh, with the new patch, right? I played, like, a few games with it, and it seemed really clunky and pointless. Maybe it's good, and I just don't know it yet. Yeah. Uh... It's a, it does cost 150 and 150, so it is quite expensive to get out. But yeah, all right. Um, what do you think? Uh, what kind of updates would you like to see for the multiplayer aspect? Like, would you like to see separate MMRs for each race that you play, or? Um, I'm not. Well, like, I'd probably still only play Terran, yeah. so I'm not really like too fussed about that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm like mostly I'm just concerned about the well. Like, I only really think about the game, not really the uh, extra stuff tacked around it. Would you like to see something like you would queue just against a specific race? Like, if you want to work on your TVZ, would you like to just play TVZ, TVZ on ladder? Well, like, that would be nice, but then your MMR would... Like, how would you rate MMRs if yeah, you were only playing, like... If you had... Say you only had, like, one good matchup and you played, like, only that because you like winning... And then you got to the top of the ladder, and it's like, but he's only good at TVZ. That's true. All right. All right, now I want to talk to you about your beard. How long did you take to grow that? Oh, um, I haven't had, like, a full proper shave in a long time. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't remember when. Yeah, you got the whole hairdo plus the beard going. I like it a lot, though. Like What's your, how do you maintain that beard? It must take a lot to keep it, right? Not really. You just know? trim it on occasion. Okay, it's, there's, there's no trick to it. You just... It's really, if anything, it's more a failure of hygiene. Uh -oh. You just let it grow. Lazy, eh? yeah. yeah. It's nice. It looks good. All right. Are you still uh, at the Root House right now? Um, actually, I'm going back to Australia, like, right after this tournament. I've been there for the past few months, but... Because um, yeah, you did join yeah. Root almost a year and a half ago now. And so how long have you stayed at the Root House for? I think combined, I've spent about a year at the Root House, maybe a little bit more. What do you like about it there? Um, you get really good ping to Europe server and Korea server, and it's good to play against both. Um, and, yeah, it's also good to have just, like, a house with uh, other players in it you can discuss strategies with. Yeah. Uh, who was who your favorite play, uh, player to practice with? Um, probably Petraeus, because win or lose, we always just, like, irritate each other, and that's funny. So he kind of gets under your skin kind of thing? Yeah, and vice versa. It's pretty fun. Okay. It's a love, love relationship on there. Oh, yeah. All right. So what do you think about the Gimli comparison that everyone loves to make for you? I mean, just it just happens. You kind of embrace it, right? Because your Twitter picture is Gimli and everything, right? So. Yeah, I mean, I can't tell everyone not to do it, so <laughs> might as well embrace it. Okay, that's good. All right. So let's say you were Gimli. Who would be your Legolas? Probably Petraeus. Petraeus? Probably. Okay. Yeah, he's you getting really tall. It's it, it, it's it's getting near there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's almost like you guys are the exact versions of them in real life, almost. All right, I guess that's about it for now. Thank you very much for the interview, Agus, and good luck in the rest of the tournament.